Hello and welcome to Ingression Prime, the only series that gives you the best tips, tricks, and information on the game that we all love, and hopefully you're starting to love too, Ingress Prime. I, of course, am your highly experienced instructor, Incredible Hulk, aka Colin Williams. Today, we're going to cover Ingress Prime 102, which is linking and protecting your portals. Now, if you haven't watched Ingress Prime 101, or at least completed the in-game training, go do that first, because you need that knowledge before we cover some stuff in this episode. Thanks to Prime 101, you should know how to capture portals in Ingress, but there is so much more to Ingress than that. You can also link portals together for more points. But in order to be able to link two portals together, there are six requirements. So first, both portals must be owned by your team. Any player can own the portals, but they do both have to be the same faction or color as you. Second, both portals that you wanna to link together must have a resonator in all eight resonator slots. Third, you must have a key for the portal that you want to link to. So if you're at portal A and you want to link it to portal B, then you have to have a key for portal B. And remember, you'll get that key by hacking portal B. Fourth, there can be no existing links from either team in between the two portals that you're linking. And this is honestly the hardest part of linking since there is tons of stray links everywhere. Fifth, you can't be under an existing field from either team. So if you see a green or blue area covering a section of the map, you can't link anything underneath it. And sixth, the other portal has to be in range of your portal because a portals have maximum linking ranges that are calculated by this formula. And don't worry if you don't like math. Basically, level one's maximum distance is 150 meters, level two is 2.6 kilometers, level three is 12 kilometers, and so on. Just pause and look at that picture if you need more information. And, and that limit only applies to the portal that you are linking from. But as long as those six requirements are met, then all you have to do is head to portal A, click on the link button, and the menu will automatically search for all portals that you have keys to, that it thinks that it can link to. Then you just gotta select the portal you wanna link to, click the confirm button, and it will automatically deploy the link for you. Now, deploying a link will give you 323 AP, plus linking counts towards a badge known as the connector badge. However, as great as that AP is, remember how I mentioned the hardest part of linking is stray links blocking you? Well, you can actually help prevent that. Unless you're deliberately creating a big field, try to not throw any unnecessary long links because it'll prevent not only you, but other members of your team from being able to link as much. Because that long link acts as a divider making it so no one can link any of the portals to those on the other side of the link. And your own team can't kill your link easily, so bad links are actually even worse for your guys. But of course, you gotta wonder how long is too long? Well, that really depends on where you're playing. So in the downtown of a big city, more than a few blocks is considered long. You know, in urban areas, more than four to five blocks is long. And in the suburbs, usually one to two kilometers is considered long. But if you're out in rural farmland, you might have to create links that are 10 kilometers apart. But making sure that you don't throw long jerk links will keep your team members happy with you and will actually help you get more AP. Since it's better for points to throw lots of little links and make tiny triangles instead of one big link. Now you've heard me mention fields a couple of times now, probably wondering what they are. Well, a field or a control field is created when you link three portals together in any order to form a triangle of links. Forming a field gives you 1,250 AP on top of the AP that you get from making the links. And when a field is created, you also get a different type of points as well that are called mind units. 
Now, mind units are the points that count towards your team's global score, as well as towards a player badge called the Illuminator Badge. The amount of mine units that you'll get is based on a complex population density algorithm in S2 and S3 cells. Um, essentially, what you need to know is that the more people living under the field, the more mine units. And the reason they are called mine units is because according to Ingress, when you form a field over an area, all the people then living underneath that field are essentially swayed towards your faction's belief system. When a field is created, all of the portals, links, and smaller fields underneath that field can still be destroyed and captured. However, you cannot link two portals together or create a field underneath an existing field. Good news is, you can create a bigger field over a smaller field, or you can link from one of the portals that was used to create the field to a portal on the inside but the link does have to originate from the outside portal. For full information on how to field and better, make sure to check out our ingression fielding series that starts with Fielding 101 to make sure that you can field like a boss. Now, fields and links can be taken down once they're set up. Any attacks or degradation that cause a portal to have less than three resonators remaining will cause a field and all links from that portal to fall. So how do you keep it safe? Well, one way to keep your portals and links safe, and also make the portals more useful, is by using portal modifiers, or mods, that you receive from hacking. To apply a portal modifier, it's super easy. Just click on the portal that you're at, and then click either the mod box in the upper right-hand corner, or a long press on deploy, and slide up to the mods option. As you can see, there are four total mod slots on a portal. Now, it doesn't matter which slot you use, but each ingress agent can only apply a maximum of two mods. And once a mod slot is filled, it cannot be changed or upgraded, so you want to make sure to pick your mods carefully. There's actually four different types of mods. So you have defensive mods, offensive mods, hacking mods, and linking mods. Linking mods allow you to increase the maximum link distance. So a rare link amp increases the distance by 200%. Two link amps will raise the 200% to 250. There's also a super rare and awesome SoftBank Ultra link amp that will also increase the number of links you can send from the portal, as well as the natural portal defense that links provide. Because by default, although you can link an unlimited number of portals in to a portal, there can only be a total of eight links going out from a portal. So when you're standing at a portal, you can only link to eight other portals from that portal. However, with the SoftBank Ultra Link Amp, you can send an extra eight links per Ultra Link Amp, up to a total of 40 links when you have four of these spoolers. Now the Ultra Link Amp also increases the leak distance. So one SoftBank increases it by 500%, two SoftBanks raises that 500% to 625%. Now links also provide what's known as damage mitigation, where when someone attacks your portal, it actually absorbs part of that attack, so less damage is done. One link will normally mitigate 16% of the damage, and two links mitigate 28% and so on. You can see the numbers in the chart that we have right over there but the SoftBank Ultra Link Amp will also increase that damage mitigation. So one link now mitigates 24% damage, two links 42% damage, and so on. So lots of links and lots of damage protection with that special rare item. Moving on to hacking mods, they will change how many times and how fast you can hack a portal, as well as what sort of gear you get when you hack. Because by default, you are limited to four hacks on the same portal every four hours, starting from the time of the first hack. And those hacks must be spaced at least five minutes apart. But the heatsink portal modifier decreases what's known as cooldown time, so that every player can hack it quicker than every five minutes. 
Now, when you place a heatsink down, it also resets how many hacks the portal thinks you have done in that four hour window. So even if you do what's called burning out a portal by hacking it the maximum number of times for that four hour window, if you place a heatsink on it, you'll start a new four hour window and be able to hack it all over again for the maximum number of times. Although note, that's only when you first place the heatsink and it only resets the window for the player who places it. For the first heatsink, it will decrease the cooldown time to four minutes per hack or 20% faster. If it's a common heatsink, 2.5 minutes or 50% faster for rare heatsinks and down to 90 seconds or 70% faster for very rare heat sinks. Unfortunately, like that crappy pottery you made on your Groupon date night, hacking mods don't stack very well. So two commons won't give you 40% faster hacking. Instead, it only gives you 28% faster hacking, which is another reason to choose mods carefully. The multi-hack mods do exactly what they sound like. They increase the number of times that everyone can hack a portal every four hours to more than just four. Commons increase it by four hacks, rares by eight, and very rares by 12 hacks. But remember, they don't stack well. So two common won't give you a total of 12 hacks, only 10. So once again, choose your mods very carefully before you place them down. The rare IDO EN transmuter mods will change how much of a particular item type the portal will give you. So the IDO EN plus causes portals to give you more defensive items like shields and resonators. And the IDO EN minus causes portals to give you more offensive items like XMPs and ultra strikes. Just remember to use the plus to give boosts or add to portals and the minus to take away from or destroy portals. Speaking of attacking portals, offensive mods are designed to hurt enemies when they hack your portals or do damage to one of the resonators of the portal itself. The force amp increases the strength of which the portal will attack the enemy. 200% for one, 250% for two. Turret will increase the frequency of the attack and the chance of a critical hit that drains massive amounts of XM. 200% for one, 250% for two. And lastly, our defensive mods like shields. Shields help absorb damage from attacks and are the one mod that stacks perfectly. So common shields absorb 30% of the damage per shield. Rares absorb 40%, very rare 60%, and Aegis shields absorb 70% of the damage. Now, although shields stack perfectly, a portal's defenses can absorb a maximum of 95% of the damage it would have received. So a rare shield and link will provide a combined 56% mitigation. Two rare shields and no link will provide 80% mitigation. But two Aegis shields, instead of providing 140% damage, cap out at 95%. So you gotta wonder then, why put multiple high-level shields on? Well, when people are attacking your portal, the mods will be knocked off the portal at random. So at least if you have two Aegis shields and one flies off, you still have 70% mitigation left. And shields also have an unlisted number known as stickiness. So the rarer the shield, the harder it is for your enemy to knock it off when attacking, which is yet another good reason to use shields that are more rare when you really do want to protect one of your portals but at least 5% of the damage will still get through those defenses. So what happens if someone starts attacking one of your portals and you wanna keep it alive? Well, we'll show you how to recharge a portal's energy, find the best spots to attack, and how to get even more items in Ingress Prime 103. So hop on over to that video and make sure to click that subscribe button so you're always getting updated on the latest videos and tips. Also, feel free to explore the whole ingression playlist and to learn more after, of course, you've checked out the rest of the 100 series. But in the meantime, go out there, play, destroy, deploy. 
and enjoy.